This has just landed this afternoon on the forecourt. This is a Nissan Duke. But this is a pretty special Nissan Duke. It's a Nismo edition. So Nismo are what AMG are to Mercedes. So it's a performance version of the Nissan Duke, very popular car. Some of the main differences, I'll just talk you through in this video. You get these nice side skirts, finished in metallic grey with a red pinstripe. Red mirror caps, complementing the red brake calipers. Coming around to the front, black grille, Nismo RS badging. And again the theme continues, so you've got a red pinstripe around the front bumper with the grey splitter. Daytime running lights as well. The wheels are a, a dark, really dark grey, um, two-tone um, with the diamond cut finish around the edge of the rim. This is also four-wheel drive, but you can switch between two and four-wheel drive. The interior is rather nice, you've got an Alcantara suede with red stitching. This vehicle's also got child safety isofix. Nice bucket seats in the front, which we'll get to in a second. Big boot spoiler on the back. The, again, the Nismo RS badging. Fairly spacious boots. Under the boot floor you've got a space saver spare wheel. Don't think that's ever been used just there. It's a lovely colour, it's a dark, well, black, but it's metallic, so it almost looks like slate in the sunlight. With the grey fleck in there. The Alcantara continues on the door cards. Coming in you've got a Nismo kick plate and one of the cool things about this car is the key is basically the same that you get in a Nissan GTR so you can see the influence there. Recaro seats with the Nismo embroidery just there. Red leather Alcantara middle to them with the red stitch. A little space here for harnesses if you want to Take this on a track. Taking a seat in. The seats are very supportive. Then the steering wheel is trimmed in Alcantara suede with leather at the top of the bottom and a red. Um, it's useful to let you know that you're pointing straight. Uh, can't remember what they call that, but you've got a red rev counter, sporty, looks nice. And the RS. Um, emblem on the speedo. Coming down you've got this carbon effect finish to the dashboard and this is a full satellite navigation system. It's got Bluetooth, auxiliary input, dab radio and you've got a 360 degree camera just there as well as a reversing camera as well as a parallel parking camera which is useful. Coming down, automatic air conditioning, three driving modes, normal, which has a sets the engine, gearbox, and everything to normal. You've got a torque output display there, coming into sport, S stiffens everything up a bit, weights the steering. Um, I think it changes the engine map as well to produce a bit more power, and then you've got a boost gauge as well, for the turbo. Going into eco, this puts the climate into eco mode. Um, and I think that that basically is a readout of how well you are driving in terms of um, saving fuel and money. Coming down, you've got a um, automatic gearbox, part reverse neutral drive, can be overridden and manual. And you've got these big paddles on the behind the steering wheel, which you can obviously change gear with. There's your USB input. You charge your phone from that auxiliary as well. There's a 12 volt socket just here. A bit of storage. Glove box, book pack, lock and well nuts. Then you've got buttons up here to turn the alarm off. Sun visor with the vanity mirror. This car is also fitted with cruise control. And then you've got the um, steering wheel controls for the telephone, radio. It's also got auto wipers, auto lights, keyless entry and keyless start. 
down here these are your controls for the folding mirrors and then that's your um, parking sensor button on and off and then here is where you actually control so you can go from two wheel drive variable four wheel drive um, so that will um, the rear wheels will cut will kick in um, when the front slip just to give you added traction or you can put it into fully four wheel drive if you choose to go rallying in this car the pedals are nice they're um, a stainless um, finish to them with a Nismo resting plate just there lovely bit of Alcantara suede on the dash as well but there we are 30,000 miles on the clock. We're advertising this car for £15,000. It's got a Nissan warranty until June this year, but you can extend the warranty with us. We do offer our own warranties. So if you'd like to arrange a viewing of this car, give us a call. It's a nice vehicle. In eight seconds to 60, 214 um, brake horsepower, and yet it will still do 38 to the gallon, which is rather good. Insurance group 20, so it's not that expensive to insure either. To reserve this car over the telephone, you can do so for £500. Give us a call. Our number here is 01926 267 813, and my name is George. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.